Mm. All right. So, so the game that I watched at 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning, yeah. Eastern time, was Chelsea. Chelsea Newcastle. Ah, what a what a what a good great watch. Great. Uh, what a what a great watch and a, and a, a really good game of football. Um, yeah. Chelsea win it with a Cole Palmer winner again. Nicholas Jackson scores yeah. a, 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 a nice goal in the first half. Isaac gets one back in the first half. Um, just just really open. I think Newcastle were getting a little closer. Rob, as the game wore on, I thought they looked stronger in the second half. Um, yeah. Chelsea's football again and, and and tactically again he he switched it around. Rob as Gusto played left back last right year back. this time he, yeah, was he right played right back. back didn't he well he plays two yeah, positions James. he plays two positions Malagusta mm. right he plays two positions without the ball he's right back with the ball yeah. he's a right sided midfield player and by that yeah. I mean a number eight and by that I mean yeah. you play a three in midfield you have a number six who's the deeper central guy mm. and you have a number eight on both sides of him that get up, up yeah. and down the field there aren't many times that you get a fullback doing that role because it's so high. He gets higher than Caicedo yeah, and Yeah, Lavia. I mean, that's Rico it's Lewis' territory, isn't it? It's almost like it? a 10. No, it's, Rico Lewis yeah. or, or um, Udogi, his Spurs fullbacks kind of played yeah. really high as well. Mm. So he changed it. I thought that gave Newcastle some problems. Um, and also, Rob, just on Chelsea, we all know about Cole Palmer. We all know about people yeah. like Madueke and, and, and Jackson. Mm. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, what's happening slowly at this club as well. They are they are becoming pretty strong and physical. Lavia and yeah. Caicedo is the two mm. players that hold because yeah. Malagusto plays the higher inside position and, and Cole Palmer switched to the left side, inside forward. Yeah. That's quite a nice strong base, that. So like most of the progressive teams right now, they build up with three oh, at the back, yeah. with mm -hmm. two, two players, and then almost yeah. like a four behind a one. Yeah, That's how... And, and that's how Chelsea do it. They do it differently because of Gusto. I just, mm. I, you know, I'm, I'm a nerd for this stuff, mate. And I, so I, I, I just enjoyed the difference of that. Um, yeah. But Newcastle, they don't change too much. They grind away. Mm. They're physical in midfield. I thought fair play to them. They kept going. They didn't have Anthony Gordon. He was he missed the game with a, yeah. I think a groin injury in training. Harvey Barnes um, did his thing on the left hand side, and Isaac gets a goal. Isaac had a chance, Rob, late on. I'm sure maybe... Oh, I are. saw, yeah, where he, he yeah. went and the keeper had a couple of options to maybe yeah, play Joe Ellington. I just and... didn't... He didn't. I think he was mm. so... I think when you go past a goalkeeper, Rob, you're like, oh, yeah. I've just got to... I've got I think he was here. so yeah. focused on, this has got to be easy yeah. for me, that he didn't quite get his head up. If, if the goalie would have mm. on his line, I think he would have looked up and saw a couple of players inside. So that was a chance yeah. for him to get a point out of the game. So... A fascinating game. As we said with Chelsea, Rob, they're going to be entertaining. They're going to be expansive. Absolutely. They're going to be good going forward. There is going to be moments where they're going to get caught out a little bit. And it happened today against Newcastle. But just a game that I that I liked and that my takeaway mm. is more of the tactical stuff that's like good. But but the physicality, actually, and the pressing yeah. and the work without the ball for Chelsea was like, wow, that's, that's impressive. It's a good well, game. Which, really interesting as well, Rob. Uh, next weekend, next Sunday, they go to Old Trafford. Which is going to be very, Ooh. very interesting. Well, I fancy Chelsea for, right could now. could be slightly, yeah, slightly embarrassing if Chelsea get hold of the game. A uh, couple of things I, I take away. Uh, Nicholas Jackson, Rob, six goals, yep. three assists in yep. nine Premier League appearances. Yep. I mean, incredible return. Cole Palmer, seven goals, five assists yeah. Yeah, it, it, this season. I mean, incredible. Uh, and and a, a question that was thrown out, and, and I wanted to, I'll chuck it at you, my friend. Who, who did it best in terms of assists? Cole Palmer for the Chelsea goal uh, to Neto or Trent Alexander-Arnold to, to, to Darwin Nunes? Wh whose assist was better? Well, the key pass, isn't it? It's a key pass, yeah. isn't it? Because it was the an assist, pass it was another pass. It, well, yeah, the key pass, sorry, that opened up to, to, to for both of those goals. Yeah. Which so, was similar in the way that they were finished. Yeah, really great. Two really great passes. But for me, yeah. it's, it's, it's actually by a distance Cole Palmer. Yeah, for me, yeah. I, I mean, the same, yeah. I mean, it's one of them, Rob, because the TV camera and and people mm -hmm. that are at the state that you you get the above looks, so you can see what's on, yeah. and you're like yeah. sat there think, well, that might be on that run, that might, but like, oh wow, he, yeah, he steered it. It was an incredible ball. I, I think it was probably the pass of the season so far. Yeah, I haven't seen yeah. a better no. weighted vision. Unexpected, Direct, yeah. like, understanding. Wow, he's yeah. going to hit that. And, and he didn't even... The thing I looked, because I watched it two or three times, Rob, he's obviously surveyed it very early because the moment that the ball's coming into him, he never has another look yeah. where Neto is. Well, that's the, He's that's not checked his shoulder late, just as he's yeah. already scanned way early yeah. and got the whole picture. Yeah. And then turned, pushed it out, played it with the right weight, the right side of him. I mean, it was... Uh, 
Not that, uh, not also, I mean, also what, what makes it is Pedro's speed. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I, and and, and Dan Byrne, away, yeah. Dan Byrne, who's inside tracking oh. the goal scorer, mm -hmm. is thinking, oh, um, Cher's going to get across and make the tackle. But yeah. Neto's yeah. so quick. And then Neto knocks it away from Cher. And then, yeah. and then he's out. Jackson's oh, away, isn't he? Once Jackson's away, yeah, he's, he's not away. catching it. And he yeah. finishes it nicely. Yeah. So it's a brilliant, yeah, brilliant goal. goal. Cole Palmer, I mean... Yeah, lovely goal. Gosh, that ball... Oh, Chelsea... For, you know, I, I look at some of the teams, Rob, and I think from from start of the season, Forrest will talk about them. And the Chelsea fans must be pretty happy with, with the way well, things... Because it could have gone a so number of ways, couldn't it? it, this? Yeah, and it's so but different to normal games Chelsea. In. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, yeah. Cause, cause it's exciting. Yeah, they, they, they usually buy the, the finished product, the experienced player, yeah. and let's go and yeah. win. If we don't win, this mm -hmm. is so different for them. And I think some, so many Chelsea fans would have been like, oh, I don't know about this, like all these young players. And we've said it yeah. before, like, wow, this is... But my goodness, you yeah. know, you think about those, those um, Paul Wynn Stanley and Lawrence Stewart, the director of football, yeah. to, to continue mm -hmm. to buy young talent. And the biggest part big of it call, was... Wasn't it? And, and sacking the manager and saying like yeah, big call. owners yeah, we don't call. think the Mo Pochettino's the right guy Pochettino's, we think yeah, Moresca is call. big call and so far it looks mm. I said to, to Rebecca yeah. today like I, I feel like this is the, the most exciting project in the Premier League right now given mm. it's not really been done before this amount of young talent come in yeah. and yeah. Moresca's getting his word across brilliantly Great game. So as well, what was great, Rob, as yep. well, uh, just to finishing on Chelsea, like this week they go into Europe and he, he, he leaves four or five of his big players at home. Well, he left 11, Rob. He, he, changed, he changed 11 yeah, players. But, but there was, you know, there's few on the bench and whatever. But what I'm saying is this whole thing is like properly planned. So we come back to Premier League, we go strong. We go into Europe, certain places well, that yeah, I might not strong. have to take Cole Palmer, I might have yeah. to take Jackson. Yeah, yeah there's in Kunku, the, the Felix, the, the two, two, two the, full these full teams. Two full teams. They yeah. made 11 changes for the Madrid. European. Yeah. Yeah, very clever. Really yeah. smart. Really, really smart good. business. Yeah, well done. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host of NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And if you want even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock.